Hey guys, welcome to the 97th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to um, open files with your application. Meaning, anywhere on your computer, you'll be able to right click on a file, click open with, and then browse to the application you created, which is this application right here. So, the first thing that you're going to have to do is just right click on your uh, form right here and click view code. And then right here, and through the constructor, we're going to want to pass a string uh, variable. And basically, this string will be the path to the file that we open. Now, in order to get the path to the file that the user opens in the program, we're going to have to go to this uh, program.cs file right here. And we haven't talked about this yet, but basically, what this is right here is this is whatever the program looks for when it runs. So it'll just go right directly to here, and then it'll run this code. And right here, it just creates a new form and runs it. That's why we see form one when we uh, debug or run our application. And right here, we're getting an error because uh, the constructor does indeed take an argument, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So in order to get the paths to all the files that the user opens, we're just going to have to create a new string array, and we're going to have it pass it through this uh, this main method right here, this method that it looks for every time it runs. So if we were to open a file with it, it will pass through this, the, the path to the file that the user opens. And I'm just going to call this files right here, because that's basically what it is, the paths to the files. And we're just going to create a for each statement here saying for each file that the user opens, we want it to run a new form one, or open another form. So we're going to say for each string, let's call it s, in this files array, we just want it to run um, a new form one or create a new form one, and we're just going to pass through this string right here. So basically, what it will do now is, if you open one or more files, it will pass through um, this string right here into form one, and then we can do something with that. And all we're going to do is we're just going to have it display it in a message box. So we're just going to have a string. Let's call it. S, I guess, capital S, and we'll say that is equal to whatever string you pass through here. And then we're just going to have a message box to display that string. Actually, we don't even need this. Alright, so we're just going to have a message box to display the string that it passes through or the path to the file that it opens. So now I'm just going to debug here, save it. So now we can go access our application and check out and see if this works. So now I'm just going to go uh, navigate to my application, which should be Windows One's application. Go to bin, debug, release. Okay. So in case you missed all that, this is basically how you get to uh, the file or the executable file that you created in C Sharp. You just go to your projects folder for Visual Studio 2010. Go to the name of your project, the name, the name of your project again, the bin folder, and then the debug folder. And then an exe should be inside of there. And it's not VS host, it's just the name of your application. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it in this, uh, this folder right here. So now, in order to uh, open this file in this program, we're just going to drag it in there. It says open with Windows Forms application one. Yep, that's what we want to do. We run it. Yep, we get a message message box with a path to the file. It's exactly what we want. And now that you know the path to the file, you can do pretty much anything you'd like with that. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on opening files in your application. So see you guys.